it, it feels as if I, I know that I have applied something here and maybe maybe discomfort would be the right word. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am continuing with Nivea sunscreen reviews. And in today's video, I'm going to do a review on Nivea Sunshine Control Mattifying Effect SP50 face sunscreen and at first I will do separated videos for all Nivea sunscreens that I find and at the end I will do the truth video as I always do the truth about Nivea sunscreens and etc you know I have those kind of videos on my channel yeah so as always let's start with the claims okay so Nivea claims that this sunscreen is lightweight non-greasy non-sticky and it has a fast absorbing formulation and it's also uh, eye air Area friendly. It's made for people with normal to combination skin. It offers SPF 50 and UVA protection. It is broad spectrum, so that means that UVA protection is one third of the claimed UVB protection, and that is SPF 50. Okay, now let's move on to the ingredients list. Now, this, uh, these are the UV filters that are included in the sunscreen. So we have homosalate, we have avobenzone. Avobenzone is a UVA filter, a really good one, but not that photostable. Then we have ethylhexyl salicylate, tinosorb S, juvenile T150, insulazole, and juvenile A+. So these are decent UV filters. This is what I said in all Nivea sunscreen reviews that I've done so far. These are decent UV filters and the one that I would like to emphasize is this Juvenal A+. This is a new generation UVA filter that provides photostable UVA protection and if you have been following my channel for a while I always mention this in every sunscreen video that I that I make. UVA protection is very important because UVA rays cause the photo aging and skin damage, dark spots, etc. So you need to protect your skin from the UVA rays. And the problem on the market is that we have more UVB filters than we do UVA filters. So it's always tricky to find a sunscreen with superior UVA protection, if I can say so. So I love that Nivea is putting an effort to include some new generation UVA filters that provide photostable UVA protection. Okay, next ingredient that I would like to mention is licorice root extract. Licorice extract, yeah. This ingredient has lightening properties skin lightening properties and this sunscreen does not claim to lighten the skin so I will I will just assume that the concentration of this ingredient is not high enough to offer such effect so that's why they didn't include it in the claims so yeah we can maybe skip that ingredient <laughs> okay and the last ingredient worth mentioning is tapioca starch tapioca starch has oil absorbing abilities and whenever i see tapioca starch listed in the ingredients list i know that the sunscreen will have a mattifying effect or at least it won't be as shiny and greasy as some other sunscreens okay now let's move on to controversial ingredients Okay, we have two controversial ingredients, alcohol and fragrance. And I keep repeating myself in all of my videos, alcohol is not a controversial ingredient for me, but I put it in this uh, segment, um, controversial ingredients, because I know a lot of you guys actually don't like alcohol in their product. So I emphasize this only for you guys, for me, alcohol is not a controversial ingredient. Alcohol is a solvent, penetration enhancer, it creates lightweight formulations, cosmetically elegant formulations. So for me, alcohol is totally okay. But if you don't like alcohol or if your skin is sensitive to alcohol, then be warned. And the next uh, controversial ingredient would be fragrance. Now, fragrance is controversial because fragrance can irritate your skin if you're sensitive, if you have sensitive skin. So in case you do have sensitive skin, then keep that in mind and maybe avoid the sunscreen. Okay, now moving on to demo application and how this sunscreen feels on the skin. At first, I thought that this sunscreen did not differ that much from the Nivea Q10 sunscreen that was meant for normal and dry skin because uh, it's very moisturizing, it's very easy, easily spreadable, it has great sensor characteristics, it's very hydrating and it leaves no white cast and it gives you a subtle glow right after application. And my skin feels very soft and very well moisturized right after application. So at first, it gives you a subtle glow, but after a while, the glow that you had in the beginning becomes more mattified after a while. So uh, 
right off the bat i can tell that this sunscreen is going to be good for people who have combination or slightly more oily uh, skin so it's not going to be greasy and heavy on the skin so overall i love the texture i love the sensor characteristics i love how it feels and looks on the skin okay now let's move on to the layering part i had no problems with layering this sun cream it layers well it's not peeling nor balling up the second layer gives you a more intense glow but then after a while it again becomes more mattified so this is definitely a mattifying sunscreen i just wouldn't call it like completely matte completely mattifying i would maybe call it semi-matte it gives you a semi-matte finish which is again great you know it's not greasy it's not heavy it's not sticky so it really gives a nice finish on the skin and i do love that moving on to makeup application i had absolutely no problems with applying makeup on top of the sunscreen and as a matter of fact i think this is a great base for makeup as you can see my foundation is looking flawless and my face is yeah pretty much skin is looking flawless i would say this is a very good base for makeup and if i look a little bit different in this frame right now that's because i'm filming this couple of days after i filmed the first part i had some inconveniences with filming so yeah sorry about that but i tried to do my makeup the same way i did that day you, you probably can't tell so that's why i'm emphasizing that anyways moving on to final verdict so i love the sensor characteristics it's lightweight fast absorbing spreads out easily and mattifies after a while so it gives you a semi-matte finish it's not sticky not greasy it's seriously it's truly amazing and i love the sensor characteristics on the sunscreen nivea truly did an amazing job with the sensor characteristics here and i can easily recommend it to people who have oily skin type and even if you don't have oily skin type you can still use it i have dry skin and this looks amazing on me it's it's not completely mattifying it give, it moisturizes but mattifies at the same time so you have a semi-matte finish it's pretty much a win-win combination in a sunscreen so I can easily recommend this to everyone but I did have one dilemma that I have to mention right here once I first apply it so for the first couple of hours after application I feel something strange around my eyes it's, I cannot call it straight up irritation it's not irritation it's not like the irritation that I had with Q10 sunscreen also by Nivea if you remember that video or if you haven't watched it you can watch it right here so that sunscreen gave me watery eyes and I couldn't really handle it and I had to remove it right after application so in that video I didn't even do the makeup application test for this one it's not like that for the shine control by Nivea it's not like that it's not straight up irritation I cannot call it irritation it's not irritation because it disappears after those couple of hours so it lasts only for the first couple of hours after application it, it feels as if I, I know that I have applied something here and maybe maybe discomfort would be the right word but then again it's you know it's not that bad I don't have to remove it right away I can handle it you know I can handle it and then after those couple of hours it just disappears and I have no problems with it throughout the day that's just one thing that I noticed that I want to emphasize and I'm emphasizing this because if you do have sensitive skin maybe you should be careful with this sunscreen and you should think twice before getting this sunscreen so this is only if you have sensitive skin if not if you don't have sensitive skin then just go for it I have a friend who uses this sunscreen and she loves it she has normal skin type I think normal to try and she does not have sensitive skin and she loves it she uses it every day and she has absolutely no problems with it so there you have it except for that strange feeling around my eyes for the first couple of hours after application i absolutely love this sunscreen and i can easily recommend it to everyone except for people who have sensitive skin if you do have sensitive skin just be careful if not go for it this sunscreen is amazing and that will be it for today's video let me know if you have tried this sunscreen what is your experience leave a comment down below and share your experience with others and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye